This is a far cry from Tagui Ogonyan's day job. The dental consultant from Los Angeles seals an envelope and gets ready. The light that you guys see here, it's another way of finding a fallen soldier's home. It's on for 40 days. It's, it's, some, it's, a, it's a symbol that there's a fallen soldier's family inside. Tagui is about to come face to face with intense grief. Two Armenian families are mourning sons killed in the war with Azerbaijan. Tagui offers comfort, asks about the men, and leaves $3,000 for each. House to house, hospital to hospital, she's done this many times now. With regular social media posts, Tagui has raised more than half a million dollars from the Armenian overseas community. As an Armenian, what else would I be doing now in LA? Let's say if I was not here, I'm pretty sure I was going to do something to either raise awareness, raise funds, send the funds, have my volunteer team do it. But it's, it's just, it's a must. I feel like it's, I would not sleep well if I didn't do this. Armenia has a population of just 3 million, but the diaspora in the United States, Russia, Europe, the Middle East and beyond easily doubles that number. And this war has mobilized them to help. Famous Armenians have been spreading their message to the world. From the US, Kim Kardashian West tweeted to her 61 million followers and donated $1 million to the All Armenia Fund. It's the main vehicle for Armenians abroad to give money. $150 million has been raised since the war began in late September. Rallies against perceived Azerbaijani and Turkish aggression have been organized too. This one in Los Angeles on October the 12th. Here's Poland, and this is Argentina. Such is the importance of the diaspora to Armenia that it has a high commissioner to liaise with them. We have uh, not only major fundraising drive that's happening in the diaspora, we also have large amounts of humanitarian aid coming to Armenia from all parts of the world. Uh, we also have volunteers, uh, every, everything from doctors to uh, various professionals and people who want to be on the front line and defend their homeland. The fact that Armenians are dying in significant numbers on the battlefield has galvanized many. For Armenians far and wide, this is not a time to question what responsibility Armenia bears for the current conflict. Taguri's efforts may be among the more remarkable, but thousands, maybe millions, are doing something to help their country in this time of suffering. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Yerevan, Armenia.